I did a little scrapping this morning. Went out and got me a cheeseburger. Needed a dirty old, needed a dirty old smelly burger. And some fries and a milkshake. And then while I was out, I did a little diving. Well, they definitely filled it up since last time. It was empty when I looked in there over a week ago. And we've got some wires in there. Is this the LB today? So I have the guy bury around. I got this out of a giant roll off dumpster, and it's amazing how things like this survive with everything being thrown on top of it. Because I didn't find it on the top. So here it is. Look like they were putting crayons in it or something. Don't have no mark, maker mark or anything, but it's a pretty neat little thing. I, I see something like my grandma having something like that at her house, you know. I would, maybe she even had something like that. I mean, this just looks very familiar to me. I'll show that to Sammy and Honey Bunny. Let's see what they say. And then, of course, we got some metal. We got us some metal. Steel shreddies. That's my cane. I use that for pulling. Found the well. No. I filled this stuff up in those buckets. Normally I don't take that stuff. But I filled this stuff up in the buckets. Not bad. It's gonna rain like a month. Got this crazy chair. Leaking everything everywhere. What is this thing here, man? A projection screen. What? Yeah, man. Yeah, we'll put that dude right in the shed. And I'll put that stuff in the shed too. It's gonna rain. It's about to pour. Pretty hard on us. Alright, transformations. If I can find my Allen wrenches, I hope. I set this bike up for a single speed pixie. Yep. Which means the, uh, the brakes are going. Lever's got to go. Because those brakes, this is a 26 inch wheel, so the brakes are not going to work with the 700C, which is like a 29 inch, basically. But it'd be rad. And if I can find my Allen wrenches, I got. I can find my Allen wrenches. I got another pair of handlebars to put on there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You ever had a dream Something I forgot. <laughs> that back hub is like 135 millimeter wide, and this single speed is either 100 or 110 milli wide. The hub is so the axle. I mean, that means I mean, I had to press the frame together to get the axle nut at least started here on the other side. So I use that little, a little ratchy strap to bring in the frame yes sirs and once I get this nut started here on this side I can take that ratchet off as long as I get some good good amount of threads in there I gotta pick up some cone wrenches too can't find my cone wrenches in this this cone here is loose so it means I probably have to take that free wheel off. I don't think I'm ever going to use the free wheel part, but I don't know. But these cheap ones are big to get off, man. I'll tell you that. The hairspray dries real quick. So therefore, they slide on and dries quick. Oh, yeah.
Yeah. There it is so far. Uh, hairspray will dry real quick. This one here I didn't put enough in, so don't, I mean, use as much as you want because it dries quick because that one's still wet and it still slides. It should be dry here in about five minutes, two minutes, two to five minutes to be dry. This one here, putting it on, I didn't put enough hairspray in it and it stopped halfway, like I, you know, like it was drying that quick. Yeah. <laughs> Heck, I've been riding it around already. I love it, dude. There it is. Rides good. I already rode it. Shot a little more air in there. Rides good. Oh, yeah. First dumpster rolled up on. I'll be back for that in the truck. Metal bed frame, whatever it is. Something like that. I'll be back with the truck to grab that mug. In there. Cans. See what we got in this mug. Nice little steel fan in there. A couple little cans. Let's see if I can get that out of there. My grabber. I broke it the other day. close just came up on this sucker I was here not long ago about a week ago and it wasn't that full uh, a lot of trash but you know we'll see what we can pick through it I'll we'll start with this dude oh dang it big A little wire, some ballasts. We'll see. We'll check it out, yo. Here's what I got. I was talking about a milk crate earlier. How I put mine at home. I usually carry like two of these. Found one, and I used it already. Stepped up in the dumpster. Use it as a step up to get into the dumpster, and then uh, put my stuff in there to carry back to the truck. Found this bad boy. You can always use another bucket. Here we got dry paint. can to a vehicle, propane tank, and a broken down TV where I just ripped the dude off of there. <laughs> Look at that mess. Look at this, man. The dude broke. I didn't even realize it. Need a better grabber. Anyways, I'm going to go through this junk. See what it is. Found a few more milk crates. So that's three today I found. It's crazy. Got some kind of irony aluminum thing. Our gas tank from a vehicle. Second one I came across here lately. I just turned one in about two weeks ago. Propane boy. I'll chop that dude up. I'll break that valve off. It's not brass. This one's not brass. It looks to be alloy. I could be wrong. Usually they're brass. I'll break that dude open. Get that dude off. That valve. Release the air pressure. And then just chop this dude up. Really, I just got to put a big old hole in it, really. I'll take my grinder and just grind a big it in it. Let the scrapyard see that. Big coup with it. Found the cord from the vacuum. I didn't take the vacuum. Didn't have my cutters either, so I just... Found this little lamp. And she cute. Oh, another thing too about that bike. It rode pretty good with the 26 inch wheels, but the 700C wheels, it rolls freaking nice, man. That gear ratio, I couldn't be any more happier because sometimes, you know, it'd be either too hard to pedal, which you can go fast all day long. With a fixed gear bike, I don't really want to go that fast. <laughs> or it'd be too easy to pedal, where you just pedal your butt off and it ain't going nowhere, it seems like. That gear ratio is perfect, man. It's nice and smooth. The chain tension actually 
feels a little tight, but I thought it was going to be too tight at first and it was making all that crazy sound. But it's actually really good. It's pretty quiet. Yep. The bike is rad as a 700C wheel. Heck, I've been riding it around already. I love it, dude. This cat needed to get rid of this trailer camper thing. And he asked if I could, uh, if he can use the yard, and I said, sure. And I get all the scrap metal. We are going to start the fire pit and getting the fire hose ready. Getting the fire hose ready. Already pulled out some copper pipes and copper wires out of that mug. Real nice. It's like. Aluminum, I gotta get that. Get that piece out of there. I think it's cast. Some wire ready to strip. Some solid strand and some braided boys. And a bunch of Romax to strip. This cool little dude here. You never know. You might need it. yard was closed today Memorial Day weekend uh, what was I thinking I didn't even try the other one look at the scrappies we got we got some scraps got there at the storage unit we were at my mother-in-law's storage unit she got a couple bikes for scrappage and some aluminum Hello Kitty scooters opened up the side or the end there walked right in that mug <laughs> not bad got my orange vest on so it looks like I fit in let's go look at a few more places Get on it, boys. All right. Smell y'all later. Well, that's pretty good. I got a few laptops out of there and some RAM and some hard drives already out of the computer. Got a computer tower, a bunch of steel straight. Oh, a bunch of wire. So far, we got three good trash cans. Some USB flash drives or whatever. Plastic bags, trash bags, steel bolts. HP laser jet cartridge, dude, brand new. I opened it up. Water damage on the box. I opened it up to see what it looked like, and it's in a package. Of course, if you ever buy one of those, I don't know. Two clipboards. Use that for uh, scrap on sun salvage and recycle unit. Box of goodies. Just random stuff. Tape. Flashlight, brand new. Look at that. Yep. 
Uh, these little stands here, as you can tell. Found some of those. And all these little hard drives or whatever. Think this thing here might fit my iPad, maybe. Uh, some of these goodies. Some of these goodies. Yep. Then it's still shred pile. Shelving units we might be able to use over there at storage unit. Yep. Shelving. Wish I would have found the rest of this thing. Would have been nice. There's some legs. Put on a pallet or something, make a pallet table. Be some legs on the end. Y'all can see what I'm seeing. Got to make some, uh, put those cabinets there, those lockers in the house. Anyways, I haven't really been bringing the scrap home except right now. I couldn't resist all this stuff. Look, man, I got a mess of wire I got to go through. Got a mess of this laptops and computer stuff, and bags of wire. I'm going to get that in order real quick, real fast. I've been finding these a lot, too. Exit signs. I think I'm going to try to do something with them. Got some wire I got to cut the ends off of and copper copper two insulated. It's plain aluminum. Little mix bucket of some shit. Grass. Other little shit. The trash. Computer tower. Five of these jokers, HP dudes. Whatever. Something in the bag. Let's look in the bag. Oh yeah, the copper one. Uh, solid wire, I like stripping myself. Yup. recorder thing just may need a battery playback what else we find nice little flashlight thing probably works my pen that's my lighter a quarter and four keys brass I think YouTube channel Dumpster Jerry. <laughs> 